But yeah, after uh, three long months, we finally found our van and we will soon show it to you. Well, before we do the build, just thought I'd show you a little tour of what it looks like right now. And then we go the side. actually pretty cool they left the previous owners left me a bunch of stuff it's loaded with a lot of spray stuff some flooring stuff which i'm probably not going to use because these are really thin um yep got a lot of work to do it's a 1989 toyota van wagon um yeah Pretty cool table thingy that came with the toolbox here they left me. Um, there it is. Yep. A bunch of tool stuff. Some part stuff. Some really, really, really appreciated because honestly I have no uh, tools. I have no experience with anything. So... We shall uh, see where this goes. Just wanted to show you guys the paint. I mean, there are dents on here, but I'll probably fix that later. But the paint job, I really like. I don't think I'm going to change it. Um, also, as part of the previous owner's uh, kind of their touch, and I don't want to ruin it. And I really like it. So we will see. Stay tuned. See, I got this as a build up. Oh, I'm not sure what these peop the previous owners tried to do, but um, definitely gonna have to take all this out. I don't know, you know, what's behind it. I wanna make sure everything is clean. Um, so that's my number one priority right now is to get everything uh, oh, cleaned and then I will start to insulate and everything yeah so this is pretty much there's wiring showing um i don't know how old this is but we'll see mm, yeah view of uh my whole journey in finding this specific van I actually never knew that this van existed until I just came across it on Facebook uh, Marketplace and that's where I purchased it. Um, I had been looking for a van for over two or three months, I would say, and uh, it's a lot of research that goes into it. It's not easy at all. I thought it would be a lot easier than it ended up being. Um, I went through many different vans, met different people that, um, you know, promised that their van was in good shape, and uh, I, just, I pretty much wanted something that, you know, didn't need a lot of work to it, uh, and um, uh, not too many, like, technical things or mechanical things that I had to fix, and uh, all the vans that I found before this one had major leaks um and they need a lot of work done like thousands of dollars which i really didn't want to spend at all um i just wanted something that you know exactly like this one day i just messaged um our names ashley and richie and and yeah we went up and up to tehachapi and we met them and they're really cool people and they they lended us this van with a bunch of tools and like all kinds of like uh, stuff in it, tools, nails, um, insulation things. Uh, um, yeah, it's it was very greatly appreciated. Um, now I when I brought it home, I had to do a little bit of mechanical work, but it was it was not near what the other ones would have been. So yeah, we put. The trailer up on a um oh, we went to Tachapi, put a put it on a trailer and brought it back. I just didn't want any issues 
uh, you know, on the way there. It, it couldn't be driven. Um, it had a leak under the, um, the transmission, transmission gasket. And I just didn't want extra issues, so I just put it on the trailer. It was like a hundred bucks. Put it on there and trail it down here to my mechanic at Brake Masters. And um, yeah, he started working on it. And it took about a month uh, because, uh, yeah, it just took a month. Um, and because of my crazy work schedule, I'm the progress is very slow, but it's hopefully. I just, my worry was to clean it, and that took a while. Um, yeah. I hope you, uh, if you're watching, thank you very much, and so we will see. Thank <laughs> you. 